Hello guys. So welcome to KO Tutorials. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have started with the texturing of this particular interior over here. That's your storeroom over here. So let's get started. So very first of all, I have downloaded some of the textures. So we'll be assigning some of the textures. I don't like this texture. I'll try to change this texture over here. So let's just open material editor over here. So I'll again go into this carpet over here and instead of this, I'll take another texture over here. I'll just assign that texture on it. And after that, Again, I can go into this and I'll just make it as one by one the tiling. That's totally okay. So for this, again, I'll go into this material editor and I'll take a V-Ray material. I'll give a wood over here. So I have downloaded one more wood texture. So let's go into this. Let's open a bitmap. I'll go into the bitmap over here and I'll go into the texture and I have this texture for this wood over here. So let's just assign it and slightly I'll give a bit of reflection if required. So once you're done I can again go into this and I'll assign a UVW map so if you want that it should perfectly fit that I can easily assign that or even if you want you can even stretch it but that's totally okay over here for now so let's again go into this we have many other elements to texture over here how we are going to texture this let's make this as a steel material over here so how I can going to assign a steel material. So very first of all what I am going to do over here is like. So I can again go into the material editor. And I will take a V-Ray material. And let's name it as steel over here. And go into the diffuse over here. And I will make this as black over here. I'll give the reflective glossiness around 230, 230 and 230 that's what the reflectiveness. The R glossiness I'll keep it as 0 0.8. If you want you can keep it as 0 0.8 over here. So I'll keep it as 0 0.8 and Fresnel IOR I'll keep it as 20 over here and your max depth I'll keep it as 5 so once you're done over here and your subdivisions we need to increase it to 16 over here so how you can do that let's go into rendering go into render setup and into that I'll go down activate this local subdivisions and now you get the subdivisions over here I can make it to us and let's just assign it and let's see how it looks like Oops. I'll press ctrl a convert to editable poly and now let's render it okay now you get a bit of a reflective you can see I have assigned it. Alright. Now, I will click out. So, let's go over here towards the mattress area. If you want first, I will also assign a shader. We are assigning a shader. I will assign a metallic shader over here for this also. So, just select this. The total area over here. 
let's again go into the V-ray material over here. Let's take a V-ray material and let's assign a black color. After that, very important, I don't need that reflectivity. I just need a bit of reflection, not that much. I'll go into the glossiness, I'll slightly reduce it. The Fresnel IR, I'll keep it less. A bit. That's it. Okay. So if I increase this Fresnel IR, I'll get more reflection. I don't need that much of the reflections over here. The Fresnel IR, I'll reduce this uh, Fresnel IR and I'll just assign this stand. I can just name it table legs or whatever you can just rename that Oops. all right so we have assigned that okay this is also left out so I'll just select this again I can go down and I'll assign it again and if you want you can just go into rendering and render it once to see how it looks like if you still want the less reflections that can be done you can oops it looks in the air so I need to select this whole thing So same assign that and let's render it again. Okay, now looks much better. If you want to work with the reflections, you can do that also. Alright, so I'll just save the file once. So now let's again go over here. Let's go to the matrix area. So again I'll go into this, I'll assign a V-ray material. I'll just name it as cloth underscore one. Again go into the diffuse, go into the bitmap and I'll assign a cloth material. So if you want, I can just make it more darker. All right, that's that's totally better. Again, I'll go into this. I'll so if we increase the tiling, then you can see that doesn't look good. So I think one by one is totally okay. For now at least. Again I will take a video material. And again I will assign a bitmap. And let's assign this. And again I will rename it as cloth underscore 2. This looks much better. Go into the material, take again a V-ray material, go into the bitmap and this third one, that's also a different fabric. So I'll assign a UVW map for this. 
and I'll set it as a box. Okay. Looks much better. So for this and this I can assign the same texture if required. So set it as a UVW map. Now this looks much better. So if you want to make it a bit uneven, that can also be done. Okay, I think uh, UVW map is also required over here. I think that's totally fine. And over here, for this, I'll assign the same material, the wood material which we have applied over here. And I can again go into this and I can assign a UVW map, set it as a box. You can fit that <coughs> so it's very important what I can do over here is like first of all I'll convert to poly and I'll attach all of this so now I can assign a UVW map all together now looks much better okay select this part let's go into the polygons again go into the material if you want to unwrap something you can easily unwrap it and I'll name it as glass over here let's make it as white I'll go into the refract I'll give it as white I'll give a bit of reflection not much IOR that's the index of refraction I'll keep it as 1.66 it's totally okay assign it so that's your glass created Control I, that's your inverse. Again, I'll go into the material and I'll just assign a white material for it. Alright. Okay. So once you're done, you can just save the file. Alright. So, guys, if any doubts, please put it in the comment section over here. So please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. So definitely we'll be doing a lot of stuff which is left over here in the coming tutorial. So we'll continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial.